The year is 2017. I came from New Zealand all the way to Wisconsin, a magical land full of magical things such as various serial killers, Michael Myers, that 70s show, and most importantly, Whitney, Wisconsin. The notorious dog fucker of the internet from the early, early days of commentary with the likes of even Leafy and Elvis the Alien made videos on. A woman so proud that she's been fucking a dog online that, you know, the police found her eventually and she got arrested. But her crimes against humanity and canine entity weren't the only one online at the time and still aren't. People that are sexually attracted to the animals and they fuck animals and it's it's no wrong, no, no. It's a big no-no in many areas. It's a big no-no and it's gross, right? We get that. Okay. <laughs> so here's a message to all zoophiles that will be watching this video because it's a targeted video towards those people, right? And if you're watching it and you're a zoophile, get comfy, baby. dog's mental state is shit, eat, and sleep. There's nothing else there going on. Sure. <laughs> yes, that is very true, year ago, me. Ha. Huh. Man, it feels good to be back in the seat of animals <laughs> being fucked still to this day. Lord almighty. But it's not all bad. Since my last video, there's been a resurgence on Twitter. Uh, it's not from me, I'm not going to take that credit, but there has been a huge anti-zoo community. Uh, people that, you know, uh, think logically and are like, you know what, maybe fucking animals, morally wrong, legally wrong on many levels. Let's relate to that. <laughs> Let's build up a band and go against people that like to fuck animals. You know, that's like just normal people thing, right? Right, we get that. Are we on the same page? I had some highlighted points. Obviously, what should be obvious to people saying that animals can't consent, right? Now, we did grab some attention from some beautiful zoophiles out there. Just to start off with a few of the comment sections. Zoos are not condemning anyone. Oh, I get it. That will make you to like them had they have a violent mentality. They would be like the people in your pack. Zoos don't do snakes or rabbits. I beg to differ. <laughs> As the early 90s Tom Selleck man would say, and he holds a goal, and if you're horny enough to a fucking animal, you know, I feel like that applies to those people. Going on. I have seen some big rabbits though. Point and proven. Think about that. No thank you. When you decide what you want to have sex with, how many times must I say it? We are a species of animal. You know, I feel like zoophiles are probably Neanderthals. The real de-evolved persons that are, you know, disjointed from reality in general. And like, physically thinking, morally, right to look at an animal and be like, you know what, you will be a companion and not a sexual one. <laughs> no one will hurt or destroy in God's holy mountain. God's holy mountain is not in those that want to hurt and destroy. Is this a religious thing? Is it what? What's got what? Who? All people can think of is hurt and destroy zoophilia people. For good reason. <laughs> Whatever fucking quote from the Bible this is. People who set their face against zoophilia people are not behaving the Christ's little ones. That is not the offended. People like that don't deserve to die. I want the furries and all to live old Scott Field study Bible. Now that's a jam-packed little comment. Literally, I'm speechless. I... <laughs> Never in my millions of years of connecting to Zuvelia people would I connect it to religion. Using a religion as a shield to say that you're really into Zuvelia is a very... skewed point of religion. Now, I am no way religious at all, if that wasn't apparent. But I feel like Christianity, or whatever that side of religion is, isn't something to be taking on as a part of what you should be <laughs> as a person. And I get it, the Bible is a kind of a guideline book on morality. We shouldn't murder people, we shouldn't hurt people, but we should condemn people with their actions, especially those that go against morale. Right? <laughs> now I asked my dear friend Shockmouse to read it out in the ASMR aspect because comedy is comedy. So I will be replying to Shockmail's reading what this person had to say. Willing to fuck a poor, helpless, defenseless dog. Hmm. Don't know much about dogs there, do ya? They have these things called teeth, you know, and they can use them to, like, bite, you know. You know, if they don't like what they 
is happening. And no, a kid is not a dog. A kid is an immature human who can feel taken advantage of by sex. So let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, <laughs> yes, a child is not the same as a dog. Congratulations. Although, maps and zoo files band together quite a lot on Twitter. Secondly, uh, dogs have teeth that they can bite. Correct. But they also will back down if a master is telling them, no, no, don't bite. You bad dog. No treat in my butthole tonight. Animals, obedient animals that can be trained, will be taught what wrong and right is. Dogs have been conditioned enough where their sole like purpose in life is to be obedient to their master or their owner, depending on how you want to say that. When you have sexual desires and you admittedly want to engage with that, that is a pet being obedient. That is a lesser species, much, much lesser, much less de-evolve species that sees you as their superior or leader of their wolf pack being dominant and they are doing what you desire in no way is it a i want to do this because they have no want apart from maybe the occasional they get bored and destroy your house situation an adult dog is mature and is very capable of wanting to seek pleasure let's also talk about that so a dog is not mature at all a dog is has a maturity of a five-year-old a dog also doesn't seek pleasure it has an outlet it has an instinct it has an urge that it wants to get rid of and it is not pleasurable to an animal at all like if, it's a, if a dog is on heat it'll be it's the same thing as of being hungry like a dog will eat its own shit and vomit because it's it's its instinct that's exactly the same as a dog that is you know having sex it is exactly the same as wanting a drink it is not a desirable pleasurable thing to a dog especially or any other animal that sweet god jesus wants to get fucked in their words <laughs> and they will never feel taken advantage of they won't feel taken advantage of because they don't have that capacity in their brain to be taken advantage of at the very most they would feel anger and they'll show anger which i get they will show that they're happy or excited at least that i can accept they will not be sexually desired to have sex with you and no human out there will be like yes this dog is absolutely saying yes and agreeing to having sex with me now if you're going to teach your dog to speak a lot like this interview will try and argue the fact of a dog can do funny trick and mean it want to have sex. So let's have a look at this interview really quickly. Also, thank you Shockmouse for speaking those beautiful words. So here we have someone that kind of sounds like they're on the spectrum. Um, <laughs> Deviant Crow is his name. Uh, he had an interview with a zoophile. Now let's listen to what this lady has to say in her defense. Excuse this guy's voice, by the way. Man. No, they can't. They don't. They don't speak the human language. They can't say, "Oh yes, you can fuck me." Or they can write down language on paper. What if they so can't? technically, what if you don't speak their language? Then they can't consent. They can't give consent. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Unless they use yes, sign they language, can. which animals can't no, fucking do. They can can't. Without language. No, they can't speak in any human language. They can't do that. And I thought you were gonna be nice. There's no so proof that there's no proof that animals can consent. There's also no proof that they can't. Because they can't talk. They can't communicate with humans at all. They can't consent. I hate that fact that they use, is that there's no evidence that animals can't show that they can't consent, neither that they can consent. Yes, there is. <laughs> animals can't consent because they can't have the ability to agree to anything. And as I said before, <laughs> they are obeying their masters and pet owners and yada yada yada. And that is the bare thick of it. And that is all it is. They don't see a right or wrong with what they're doing. Whereas a, a human being knows their morals. And they should be in line for the most part. But it's just not. She goes on to say that they taught a dog to press buttons to communicate with a person. 
which is honestly a dog being taught tricks, which is honestly a lot of what these people are doing is just teaching a dog tricks. No dog has actually felt the means to shake a person's hand without being given a treat afterwards and being like, yeah, this is fun, this is okay. Because if there's a reward afterwards, you know, then of course the dog is going to continue doing that thing. Now, a lot like pedophilia, zoophilia is a disease. Uh, mental disease. Uh, <laughs> is there a cure? Brainwashing would be a good one, or a bullet in the brain. Or just like a total isolation from civilization and animal kingdom. But for the most part, Twitter's been doing a great job recently as to squashing a lot of zoophiles out of the place because of the anti-zoo police and uh, a lot of other people that are in that community, which is fantastic. But there's always a couple of strays, pun not intended. So let's take a look at your typical anti. One, always low follow accounts. What is this weird thing where like people's follow account really validates their opinion? <laughs> I deliberately went out of my way to get suspended so I could have a low follow account again because I felt like I had too much leverage. <laughs> but it's a goddamn shame when someone with, you know, a half working brain can make a valid point. This isn't one of these cases. Two, never can find a valid reason to argue against our sexual orientation. I'd say it's more of like a sexual disease. It's like an STD, but like a mental one. You know how like people can have like mental problems and then they can have back problems, but they still get health insurance from that? That's kind of what like zoophilia is. Three, it's gross, it's disgusting, it's sickening. Ironic. Therefore, it should be wrong. I'm personally grossed out by it. Zoo pride. Being attracted to animals is sickening. Nothing wrong with saying that. It's not normal and should never be normalized. Nothing wrong with that. Zoo files are fucking disgusting. Uh, also nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so let's have a look at this hashtag zoo pride, which is where you'll find the best of the best of the zoo files. Santa Maria, Santa Maria, oh God. <laughs> the red rocket to the moon is going straight into my brain. Oh, I don't have the heart. I don't have the brain. I don't have the willpower to go into every single person on Twitter that has a hashtag fucking zoo pride. but people do use that to out other people and that's the most condemnable thing that a hashtag can do because if there's a pride for something there's always going to be people that are abusing it and I advise you to do the same. The most diabolical thing that let's say enablers along with members of the zoophile community is that they make a little bubble. They make this cute little bubble where they don't want to hear any outside voices. A lot like religion, going back to that, where they hear what you are attracted to is wrong on very many levels. They hear I am being attacked and uh, I am act actually in the right 100%. Now, if you are admitting you're in the wrong, a lot like non-acting pedophiles, zoophiles that go out of their way, which they normally do to harm animals and of really fucking disgusting way, they go off and immediately repeat the same thing of saying animals can consent and nothing I do is wrong. If you admitted to what you're doing is wrong and you'd seek help to change what you are thinking and to dispel of your thoughts to flush out, a lot like religion does. <laughs> Zoophilia is going out of the way to harm animals. You're giving a voice to the voiceless that isn't what they're thinking because animals don't have that direct connection to having actual coherent thoughts and that is why it becomes like a form of animal abuse animals don't really have a way to communicate as i said in the previous video they can pretend to cuddle up to you and pretend to show affection but in no way is an actual human connection affection and uh, interspecies relations should just generally be illegal in all states instead of just like most <laughs> don't know why that's so hard to comprehend. But a lot of these users on Twitter will be very quick to defend what they want to spew out and think that it's a, a defending thing to really hold up against and be just disgusting, vile human beings that go out of the way to fuck animals. And let's just be very clear on that. That is what it is. Fuck animals. There is nothing else going on there. You are very horny. You see something that is giving you sexual pleasure. And you are acting upon that. 
and that what acting upon situation is their absolutely wrong thing. TLDR, uh, fucking animals is generally, morally, and legally wrong. Legally, for the most part, wrong. I say for the most part because in most, in some states, you can get away with anything. <laughs> and then we have the opposite side of non-monetizing their content to people that are, you know, just buying stickers with dog dicks on them and being like, yeah, I fuck dogs. I am proud by fucking dogs. Mm. Sweet God. Could you imagine? Could you imagine just finding this on the back of a car? You're just going to Target, buying some groceries, and you just see a, a bumper sticker saying, suck dog dick. Isn't that magical? Every one of these Twitter accounts have a very long, like, thread and description of why zoophilia is okay and, like, their introduction to it. It's like they're trying to rationalize what they're doing to themselves and then everyone else because if so many people tell you what you're doing is disgusting and wrong, you want to tell you yourself that, no, I'm actually, I'm okay. <laughs> what I'm doing is fine. No, it's fucking not. <laughs> Just to touch on one. You can be a furry without being a zoo, you can be a zoo without being a furry. You can be one or the other, you can be both. I hope this message gets to at least someone who takes to heart. We will welcome you. If you're being shit on for liking ferals, we will love you. Maybe you don't want to associate with us, that's fine. If you don't give us shit, we won't give you shit. I know I ache for my ferals, furry friends, Right now, that may be dealing with misguided judgments. This is an alias, but I've seen all this going down firsthand. I'm disappointed in the furry fandom as a whole. They're really shitting the bed on this whole ordeal. So this is six hours ago from a recording this had been posted. Uh, I'm guessing that the furry community is going against zoo files, which is completely and utterly warranted. <laughs> if you're getting backlash from furries of all people, you know, the people that are probably most likely mentally closer to you fair say there's a big leap there but need i say more then you know maybe you should be less proud of being a zoophile and be outspoken about it and maybe you know take some time to have some time to reflect on who you are as a person you can judge a man's true character by the way he treats his fellow animals if you could take one thing away from this page of rambling zoophile is that there may be more going on here than simply don't understand. Maybe it's not as bad as you've been told. I doubt it. If a human tortures, kills, or rapes animals for pleasure, he will and secondly know to keep an eye on them. Because they would absolutely deliver harm to another human. But consider a human that treats an animal as equal while not treating them as other, another human. So here we are comparing animals to humans. Now, as I can see, we are all God's foreseen creatures that are under his all-seeing eye. And, you know, if you're a good boy, Santa will give you good treats for Christmas. Humans and animals aren't the same. And here's a really big difference. Humans are uh, evolved. I know that's an arguable sense to some people out there, yes. <laughs> But we have gone past the point of taking a shit and piss wherever we want. We don't have to be, you know, trained from most of our life to take a shit outside. We don't, we aren't lesser than any other species on this planet. That's the big one. Humans are a civilized society for the most part. We may never be able to speak our human tongues to beasts, but communication is inherent to life. We know the needs of our companions. Yeah, eating and drinking and breathing and possibly just a shelter sometimes sexual intercourse isn't a need it's a desire or if you're an animal it's instinct which is not desire or pleasure unless you're a dolphin but we know the needs of our companions be they animal or human and they aren't the same and any decent person will meet them to best of their ability that's not okay i just want to resonate with someone maybe prevent another senseless suicide or maybe make someone think twice before bullying so from that last statement alone i can presume that someone committed suicide by being a zoo fire any rational human being shouldn't be pushed to suicide and yeah 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 gray area i do believe that you can prevent those thoughts by seeking help by flushing out any sexual desire you have with animals with mental help that's it that's the whole line <laughs>
But this isn't a new thing. Uh, this Reddit post is from 11 years ago. It's an AMA. Uh, basically saying that, uh, yeah, I've been attracted to animals since I was an early age, and, uh, you know, I, I put peanut butter on my ass on my dog with my balls, and I just love animals ever since. I've been, you know, I, I, I find it really hard to connect to human beings because I'm probably autistic, and, uh, I have some sort of social mentality that doesn't, that cucks me off from not being able to connect with humans as well as I can with dogs because, you know, dogs are easily more obedient. And that's what the thick of it is, is that animals are a lot more obedient than humans, as they should be. Early Western America kind of abolished that. Gosh damn. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> House-held animals have been nurtured to be pets. And that is all they are, is pets. They are something to look after. It's just someone else to be like, oh, it's a cute little thing that I have. It's like a house plant that I don't fuck. But it's just like an added feature to your house. That's all it is. That's all a pet is. <laughs> There's a bunch of people trying to educate people in Zoophilia when all it comes down to is, uh, yes, I'm attracted to the animals. If you give someone an explanation of that and wanting to find some sort of rationality with the other person you're trying to convince that it's okay, no, 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 you're completely wrong. <laughs> it's a huge block and it's such a big thing to put out. And to try and convince people that they are mentally ill and should seek help. Because it is no way a thing that should be normalized. And I feel like that's a very popular and rationalized opinion. <laughs> As a lot of these zoophiles have kind of been squashed out on Twitter and YouTube and most other places online. There is always a haven that rats go to to breed. And... Uh, Unfortunately, looking at Discord, the ones that are full of pedophile admins that get away with murder, uh, you know, they let these things slide. So I made a dummy account, catfishing as an ego, to just wander in that server. Now an easy way to find a Discord server is to just search up what you want and then Discord. And then, you know, normally you'll find a, a server pretty quickly after that. Uh, I'm going to be blocking a lot of shit from this server because it is all disgusting. Here we have real life videos of animals and humans having sex. There's horses and dogs and a couple of other animals thrown into the mix. You know, it is disgusting and it is disturbing to see this. Uh, so if you are wanting to pursue and go Discord hunting for these people, I will put a giant warning sign now to maybe just be cautious on what you're getting yourself into. Because it is really disturbing. And I've seen some shit. So I'm shit in real life in front of me. It is honestly just as bad as sharing child porn. And it should be just as deemed as bad as sharing child porn. But there's always just weird loopholes and laws that people get away with. Uh, I catfish as a cat girl and then immediately uh, there was someone in my DMs. Uh, I automatically said, yes, I am this amazingly gorgeous looking e-girl. He immediately went to pursue if I have, uh, if I've been curious or if I've been, if I've tried zoophilia. And, uh, automatically was like, let's see how far I can take this. He goes on to say he used to own a boxer puppy. He had stolen for, thank fuck, that dog had been taken away. And, uh, he looked the girl I was dating at the time. I'm a guy, so I would just watch. These are the type of people that are in these servers. I really want to see how far I can get away with this, and I really want to put this into part three of this. No doubt they'll probably find me and then block me from the server. There's always a way to catfish these people, though, because they're always fucking weak, lonely, fucking stray animals that you can just fucking hunt down really easily. I went on to say that a dog fucked me from behind, and then he asked if he nodded me, which I, I guess is when dogs, like, kind of curl their legs and then just go to town. That's what I'm guessing what that is. Not that I know the actual meaning, but I guess there's fucking sayings I don't know about. Damn, I wish more women were like you. It took a lot to get my ex to let my pup just lick her. So not only do we have degenerates just sharing pictures of, you know, them fucking disgracing animals we have people above that are just continuing to wanting to have other people be pleasured by their pets and uh, be willingly to be really sexual about it uh, to complete strangers online there's a big problem there discord uh a really big problem and also you're not safe for work situation is not fixed at all to verify someone's age on your shitty app 
it doesn't do anything. Now, when I was 13 years old, I started to watch porn. That disclaimer at the top is, uh, are, you, are you over 18? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you for that, sir. It's a big gray area between uh, what free of freedom of speech is, yada, 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 yada. There's a big problem that has been happening on Discord, and that it's been like that for a very, very long time because it's such a freedom thing. And I know it's probably a big thing to try and police because it's such like a freedom thing, but that's the big problem of it. Discord's big problem is that anyone of any age, of any sexual orientation, even though zoophilia is not really an orientation, more of a disease, same with pedophilia, uh, there's communities formed by mentally unwell people that are always hive-minded to those. What I did here took like less than 30 minutes for me to find and this person approached me first because I, I knew if I just made myself an attractive girl that some little fucking horny bastard would find me. That's uh my very serious video on zoophilia part two. I'm sorry I was serious. Uh, I'm sorry if any zoophiles are offended by anything that I've had to say and uh, really defensive about whatever I have to say is that the thing you need to take away from this is is that you really have to look in the mirror to really realize what you're doing isn't good for yourself. And it's really harming innocent creatures. Okay. That is all I'm going to do. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Yada. Patreon. I have a podcast where I have a few guests starting on now. It's mostly just shooting the shit and making some giggles and laughs. And hopefully, uh, you know, there's a couple of things there for you to learn. Um, also... I have a Let's Play series. I've been playing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on the PS1 recently. I really want to just prowl that out because it's, uh, I don't know. It's also just a, a laid-back situation there. But if you like who I am, then maybe you'll like that too. Who knows? Bye. <laughs> <laughs>